This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Yikes! More fall TV news? From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Way Through Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. Well, there was just so much to talk about that about the fall TV season that we broke it up into two episodes. So, let's get back to the action. Well, let's talk about some of the shows that bit the dust, <laughs> also announced at Upfronts. Yes. On ABC, Castle, after eight seasons, which I think went past it went its due date. It went way past the date. It should have been canceled. <laughs> Now, they were planning on continuing the series. Right. But they were planning on continuing it... Without the female lead. Without the female lead. <laughs> Let's get rid of Beckett. So they fired Beckett and the other principal female character. Right. And then they were going to try to continue it on. Right. <laughs> there was an outcry over that one. Yes, there was. So, anyways, it really was due for it to be canceled. I'd like to see Nathan Fillion doing something, but not this. Would be nice. The Family... The twelfth and final episode tells the tale. The title of the episode was What Took So Long? <laughs> Gallivant. We loved this show. I did love this show. But we were just shocked when it actually got a, even a second, second season. season. So we, we feel like lucky that it even had a second season. Absolutely. And the second season introduced the star of Gallivant to... Um, Kylie Minogue, yeah. and they got married. Yeah. Hey. There you go. Marvel's Agent Carter. Haley Atwell, of course, has moved on. There's a push to move it to Netflix, but I think that's a huge mistake because that in no way fits with the other Marvel Netflix no, shows. No, it does not. It's a completely it's, different concept. Well, it, you know, it's it's just that the whole atmosphere of the show is so different than what's on there. Yeah. I like having them separate. Now, maybe if you could... I don't know, because cause they're still technically part of the same Marvel Universe, aren't yeah. they? Yep. But it almost seems to me like, you know, you have the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you should have the Marvel Netflix Universe. And essentially you do, yeah. Yeah. The Muppets. Well, the second half of the season improved, but they had dug too deep a hole early on. Yeah. Trying to make it more gritty and yeah. real. Everything's and it's like, got to be it's gritty puppets. and real. It's puppets. They should have just done the, the done Muppet, the Muppet show. show and been done with it. Yeah. Nashville, after four seasons. Well, at least Connie Britton is freed up to do a good show. <laughs> of Kings and Prophets. So it's Bible meets Game of Thrones. No. It was done in four episodes. Yeah. That was gone. Wicked City, the 80s serial killer miniseries that was done in eight episodes. Over on CBS, Angel from Hell, done in five episodes. We kind of liked it, but I thought that was another bad fit for CBS as, yeah. a, as, a, as a sitcom. Mm -hmm. CSI Cyber, the 16-year run of the franchise comes to a close. There's no CSIs left? That's it. <gasps> wow. That's it. For, we're done. We're done Ooh. with CSI. Yeah. The Good Wife, seven seasons. I think there were too many cast changes to the point it was kind of like drama helper. They kept throwing new characters in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Limitless, one and done. Mm -hmm. Rush Hour, a retroactive miniseries apparently. <laughs> the episodes will burn off this summer. Uh huh. Mike and Molly, six seasons. Kind of shocking they were able to keep Melissa McCarthy on a TV show this long. Mm -hmm. Person of Interest, five seasons. And they're just burning off the last episodes now. Well, yes, but actually, I'm doing catch-up on Person of Interest right now. Um, I've seen all four of the previous seasons, and I'm working my way through these. And it's actually a good show, and they're using these last, at least apparently, the last season to actually like close out some big episode arcs. So at least they got to do that. Good. Over on the CW, didn't have a lot to cancel because they kept almost everything. But they did get rid of America's Next Top Model, which has now moved to VH1 after 22 seasons. seasons. With reality shows, it's really not seasons. Yeah. Because they call like 13 episodes a season. Like they now. should call them series like they do in Britain. Yes. Beauty and the Beast, for four seasons it ran, and it's being burned off this summer. That's the one that had the girl that played Lois on Smallville, played, right? Played Lana on Smallville. Lana? Okay, yeah. Lana. Yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. Lana. Over on Fox... American Idol, 15 seasons. Our long national nightmare is over. Yay! 
Border Town. Fox keeps trying to catch another Simpsons, and it fails again. 13 mm -hmm. episodes of that. Cooper Barrett's Guide to Surviving Life. Only half a season and gone. Mm -hmm. Grandfathered, one and done. I thought this was actually doing well. I wonder if they want to take the new girl route and move it to Hulu or something. I don't know, maybe. And The Grinder. See grandfathered, basically the same situation. Yeah, and I actually kind of liked the grinder. Yeah. But you know, I have a soft place in my heart for Rob Lowe, so. <laughs> knock knock live. This was a show. I, I don't even know what that was. <laughs> Minority Report because movie remakes always work. work. Yes, as you can see from next season, you know, because they're going to be they're like do a bunch of yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Ten episodes of that. Second Chance, a sci-fi crime series with eleven episodes. That's gone. I don't even know what that was. It was kind of like Frankenstein, but it's uh, modern day, and okay. and he, <laughs> it's cop not a cop, and he goes and fights crime as as yeah. Frankenstein. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? NBC best time ever with Neil Patrick Harris. I really wish this had worked. Yeah, I do too. Not enough variety, too many gimmicks. I would agree with that. Yes. Crowded, which will be best remembered as the one thousandth episode of a sitcom directed by James Burroughs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they basically, when this show came on the air, that's what they were pointing out. Not the cast, not the show. James Burroughs is involved, so you know it's going to be good. Game of Silence. This was a show? I don't Ten know. episodes. Yeah. Heartbeat. That's I, the one I was thinking of. The medical series that was Here and Gone. Here and Heartbeat. Gone. Heartbeat. Yeah. Heroes Return. Reborn. Reborn. Born. A lot of effort for 13 episodes. Yeah. Mr. Robinson, and I'm putting an asterisk by this because this was actually gone last August. <laughs> they only just got around to announcing it now. Uh -huh. The Mysteries of Laura. After three seasons, Deborah Messing must have misplaced those incriminating NBC executive photos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they got rid of her. The Player. They continue to try to amortize the Montecito Casino set <laughs> from Las Vegas. Nine episodes. Telenovela, NBC's attempt to reach out to Latinos failed. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, 10 episodes of another failed NBC comedy. And finally, Undateable went for four seasons, even doing the shows live, and the final season did not save this series. No. And then there's Supergirl, which is moving from the CBS to the CW, where it probably should have been in the first place. Yes. As well as moving to Vancouver, where all the other CW superhero shows are produced. Yes, and so maybe we'll see more crossover. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we will. In fact, they've even announced four-way crossover in December. Wow, yeah. okay. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Now, other shows have switched teams. It usually happens when the run is basically over. Taxi mm -hmm. moved from ABC to NBC. Mm -hmm. Different Strokes moved from NBC to ABC. Get Smart moved from NBC to CBS. Scrubs moved from NBC to ABC. Mm-hmm. And then there's Jag. And then there's Jag. Sorry. <laughs> that, that had one season on NBC and then a very long Gone. CBS run. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was a much better fit for CBS. Yeah. Wonder Woman started on ABC, then switched to CBS, as well as from World War II to the 70s. Mm -hmm. And again, CW is a much better fit for Supergirl. You can be sure that we will be watching Supergirl. Right. Yes. And while we're watching Supergirl, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. <laughs>